It's a wonderful, wonderful performance. Takes us back to our past, and boy, this is chicken stew. Mahalo, mahalo so much. Our queen, she left us a legacy, and that is her legacy is to take care of our nakekis, yeah? So we need to let this state of Hawaii government know that our children are not for sale, okay? And that's what needs to happen because that's what's happening to us out in Wa'anae, um, in our local Hawaiian communities. Our children are being taken away from us uh, and sent away. So um, in a few years, all these children will return and they're gonna live, need your love and your understanding and welcoming that home to their aina. Right now, there's too many of them on the mainland and we need to understand this. Um, that our queen cared about the children enough to leave her legacy to our destitute children and we're simply not, uh, the state isn't following them through of her wishes. And so in time, our babies are gonna come home again. Thank you. I've seen uh, various productions of this play, uh, sometimes a little bit more uh, elaborate than uh, whatever, but one thing never changes. The heart races, the tears flow, and we start to shake at the anger of what they did to us. And this just keeps us going that we should not stand by and do nothing. Do something. We have a lot of people here, organizations here, who are doing something. Do something. Hello. Hello, Kaku. I just like to uh, thank everyone for being here and thank the cast and everyone who participated. Uh, you know, this is a, a date that needs to be remembered and it has been remembered consistently every year in, every year out. And it's going to be continue to be remembered in the future. Uh, thanks to all of us who are here, we're going to help to keep the, keep the dream alive to Imua, uh, to regain our independence. Uh, there is progress being made. Uh, we are unifying. There has been progress made over the past several years. Sometimes it's hard to recognize it. But be optimistic. Uh, the more we learn, the more we share our knowledge, the more things that are revealed, such as the letters that come up from time to time, uh, that legitimize what the true history was and the true illegal actions, uh, the more we gain support, not only from among ourselves, but throughout the world. And there's a lot of support building for Hawaii throughout the world. So uh, it's absolutely necessary that we continue doing these observances, these commemorations, these remembrances, celebrations. Uh, we're all survivors. Our children and grandchildren will be survivors. And as we move forward and the truth comes out, the truth will prevail, and so will Hawaii. Mahalo.